Hey everyone, welcome back to WrestlePop. All right guys, Booker T has been getting a lot of heat from the internet wrestling community. They are pissed off at him, all because he dared to compare their beloved AEW to WCW and not in a good way. And so guys, there's a lot of quotes we can give you, but we're gonna give you just one and here it is. How many great matches do you remember Hogan having when he came to WCW? How many matches do you remember Hogan having period when he came to WCW? What we gave and what we got in return, did Hogan save WCW? Those guys came in with contracts where they had creative control, they were getting paid more money than all us guys that have been there all those years, they jobbed everybody out, they had it in their contracts that they couldn't lose. I don't think the return we got was worth bringing in all of that talent. Now I know what you're going to say, well Hogan did bring WCW a lot of attention and all that kind of stuff, but I think it's safe to say over time Hogan and some of these other guys, because of the fact they always wanted to stay on top, they didn't really help the younger guys. And I think that his I think his point here was that sure Hogan initially was good, but he should have been shown the door maybe after a year or two years or something like that. And that way the younger guys, they could have had like the spotlight on them because if you guys remember back in the day they had Steve Austin, they had Booger T, they had Chris Benoit, Chris Jericho, and on and on and on. They had like dozens of great wrestlers but unfortunately thanks to guys like Lex Luger, Macho Man Hogan and the list goes on a lot of these younger guys didn't get the spotlight they deserved because look what happened they went to WWE they became main eventers and so I think that's what Booker T here is saying. Yeah, I think he was making a really good point. Now, a lot of people don't necessarily want to hear it because they just want AEW to succeed just because they've fallen out of love with WWE. But as people that appreciate both of them, I feel like he's got a really good point. AEW is just, in a lot of ways, just trying to replicate what WWE and WCW were doing without really innovating their own stuff, you know? And a lot of the times they're just being very hardcore because they think that, well, WWE can't really do that, so we can like draw in those viewers that really want that stuff. We can draw in the viewers that are just bitter about WWE and we can bring in all of these guys that once they leave WWE are gonna like do their little interviews and things where they sh over the company and everyone's just gonna love it. But what do you do after that? Like that's eventually going to run out of steam. What do you have to offer people after all of that goes away? All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, 5 Minute Eats, and don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.